Hi, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about foundation piecing and making string quilts. Now string quilts have been made ever since there was scraps. We have had scraps forever and it's a great way to make a quilt block to use all those little tiny scraps and little tiny pieces. And what I have behind me is a little string quilt I made with a honey bun, which are inch and a half strips. It's the Bungle in the Jungle honey bun. And it's just, you know, we just lined them up, but we've made this easy for you. So what we've done is we have 10 inch foundation papers for you to sew your strips on. And I have, I do a lot of binding here um, at Missouri Star. When people send their quilts in, oftentimes they will uh, want me to bind them. And I'll have a little piece left and I throw it in a, a bin. And uh, so I have loads of these two and a half inch strips. So I started making some squares with the two and a half inch strips. Now these are, this is great fun because you can do so much with these. These papers come in a package of 250. That is a lot of quilt blocks. And, um, and I just want to show you how I do it. You can, because it's a foundation, you can do anything with it. You could put a piece in the middle and put pieces all over it. But what I'm going to show you today is an easy way to string piece. So one of the things I use for this is uh, the lapel stick and um, it's a great little um, glue stick but it doesn't clog up your needle and it won't, uh, it won't, it dries soft and it just washes right out. And I'm going to run a bead of this glue from corner to corner right here and then I'm going to take a white piece and put it right down the middle. Now you could put any color of um, strip you wanted down the middle, but if you always put a white one down the middle, then when you start lining these up, you're going to get a secondary pattern in there with this line. Also, generally, string quilts are made using all different sizes of pieces, but I have a lot of two and a half inch strips, so that's what I'm going to use today. But please use your imagination and use whatever you'd like. So what we're going to do is I'm going to gather some of these pieces out of my bag. I always try to kind of color coordinate them and put them in bags or bins. And I'm just going to lay it face down on here and I'm going to sew it to this first white strip right here, just a quarter of an inch like we do. And um, we're going to iron that back. First we're going to come over here and just do our quarter of an inch all the way across. You're going to sew right through the paper. And you just stay right along there. It doesn't really matter if you're straight or not. None of that matters. And the uh, paper on the back is going to become your pattern when we're done because you'll have all these different sizes of strips laying all over the place. So then I'm going to bring this over here and I'm just going to iron this back. Lay it right back like this. You want to make sure that you Pull it all the way over so that you don't have any folds. And then we're just going to add another strip on there. Now if you want to, um, you can, uh, if you want to, you can clip the extra off, but I kind of wait until I'm finished. This is a little piece of a binding strip. I'm going to see if I can just take that off of there. But I don't have to. That's one of the really nice relaxing things about this. So then again, you can see, I just lay that strip right along there. And we sew it on. I don't sew the strips all the way out to the edges. I just sew them where the paper is. Because that's going to be my block. Alright, and let's add another. Iron open, and then we're going to add another one in there. This little one looks like it'll be perfect, and I'm going to have to iron this open. There we go, set it on there. They go together so fast, and it's just a great way to use up scraps. Normally also they don't like um, put their quilts together in colorways like this. <laughs> I, have a, I have my green bag right here. But normally they don't really go together like that. They just go together, you know, hodgepodge, however you want to put them together. Now I can see right here on the very end of mine, 
You can see right here I have a tiny little piece of paper and that needs to be covered. So we're going to put a little piece on that edge right here. Just sew down there real quick. And then we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay, so now I've got all these strips sewn on, crazy pieces. But all we do is turn it over, and then we're going to slice these off. So we're going to use the paper as our cutting pattern. So I'm going to lay my ruler right along the edge of the paper. And I'm just going to slice along here. That'll take these off. And remember, you're going to want to save all these pieces because they'll work for little bits and pieces of uh, the next one you do. Somehow I think your strips kind of multiply, your scraps kind of multiply when you're doing this kind of thing. It's like no matter how much you think you're getting rid of, there's always more. <laughs> so I've got this almost trimmed one more side. Cleaning up very nicely. All right, there we go. Okay, so this is what we have. This nice little block right here that we made with scraps. Now on the back is paper. The paper comes off very easily. You can just crease it and it just comes right off. This is a great job for grandchildren. <laughs> or, you know, you if you want, whenever you want. You can give it kind of a pull and it will also release. It really just comes off really easy. So what I want you to do with this is I want you to use your imagination and think about um, different ways you can use this because this is, this is really fun. When you set these together, you can set them, and I'm just going to lace them out here so you can see them, so that you have uh, an, X, an X block and an O block going together. See, this will make the big, let me clear some of this off so we can put some more stuff in here. See how it's going to make this big triangular uh, one this way? The other thing I want you to remember is that these are the same size as layer cakes, which is why we chose the 10 inch square, so that you can pair them with a layer cake. Also, remember that if you were to um, cut this in half, it's going to be a half square triangle. So, you know, you just got to let your mind go. There's all kinds of things you can do with this and it will help you use up some of those scraps or you can put one together that's perfectly ordered with a jelly roll or a honey bun like I did with this one. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on string quilting from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.